Alright, this is a video tutorial about uh, how to use the actual keylogger, uh, keylogging software. Um, basically what this software is for um, is if you have an annoying little brother or sister uh, and you think they're using your computer without your permission, uh, you can catch them in the act and see what they're doing on your computer. Um, so basically I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded the software. Uh, when you do download it, it'll look something like this. So you're going to have to double click that and that will uh, start up the installer process. And it's relatively simple to install if you've ever installed something on your computer before. <clears throat> you should be able to do it without a problem. Um, so then once that's installed, uh, there should be a icon that looks something like this on, that it'll put on your desktop. Um, so just to start the program, you're going to double click it like this, but um, if you have a good uh, antivirus software, uh, such as Avast, for example, it'll recognize this as a, as a virus and won't allow it to run, no matter what you do. So what you're going to have to do is go over here and uh, disable whatever it is you have, um, at least for the time being, and then it'll start right up fine. <clears throat> so um, once we have initialized the program uh, you're going to want to go up to the top left and click start monitoring and now it will track um, whatever keys I press um, so I'm just going to push a bunch of keys here okay and so now when we click stop monitoring uh, here's what I typed uh, so it's pretty pretty simple straightforward uh, so let me get rid of that um, and click start monitoring again. Now what this program allows you to do is to uh, hide the program while it's running so that uh, whoever is using your computer uh, does not know that it is running. So you're going to go up here and click hide actual keylogger and what that's going to make it do is make it uh, disappear and look like it's not there. And now it'll tell you a uh, key combination that will bring it back up which is uh, shift control alt f7. Uh, so you're going to want to remember that so you can bring it back up when you're done. Uh, so we click OK and now it looks like the program's not running. It doesn't show up down here. It doesn't show up down here. Um, it will do. It will show up if you, uh, for example, go into the list of programs um, that are running. Uh, it'll be. It's right there. Um, that's impossible to hide. But um, not not many younger siblings uh, think to look there. Um, so you shouldn't really have to worry about that. Um, so now let's test this out. So uh, say we go into Google, uh, for example, and um, say your little brother or sister wants to look up how to annoy older sibling. And so there we go. They typed that in and searched and now they're off and away. Um, and so now they close that out and you come back later and you uh, push the uh, key combination which was control alt shift f7 and that starts the program back up um, and so now we have the log here uh, which shows that um, the program being used was Mozilla Firefox which was the web browser I was using and it shows here um, what they typed how to annoy older sibling and then they press enter and so that's pretty much all you have to do um, and then when you're done you can click stop monitoring and that's about it and then you can go ahead and clear that out and you're pretty much done <laughs>